Hey, on. Well, FS22. Uh, as you guys can see, we are now here on uh, one of the Elms Creek. Um, so what I'm going to do here is give me two shakes of lamb's tail here, guys. I just want to do something real quick here. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, give me one second. Sorry guys, give me one second here. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So here we are. Oh, uh, a second. And back here. Okay. Chat. There we go. All right. Hello. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, FT Vitz. Hi. Cool. Uh, FT Freighter Tater. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do here, just for uh, today's video, is I'll figure it out. I'll give you guys a tour of the farm I've built here on FS22, and uh, also what I have found so far with FS. In case any of you guys have not fully aware of any of it yet, so I will answer any questions on that that you guys. Uh, have so on and so forth and answer the best best I can to help you guys out all right so first off uh, we're gonna give you guys a little bit here a tour of what I've done here on uh, R&K Dairy uh, it's in like 45 minutes. But the FS, FS 22 looks great. Uh, yes, it, it is. Um, it is a really great game. It does have uh, what I've noticed so far. There is quite a few bugs yet. They got to work out of it. Um, so you guys are aware of that. That there is, and there, we don't have many mods as of yet. For 22, there's only maybe like not even a you know, maybe like five, six mods all together. And I don't, I think I have like three installed, and there none of them are active on the farm. Uh, it's just all base game mods, uh, there is nothing added. Everything that you guys are going to see, well, minus what one tractor that I, I got that's on here but you guys will see that here up come a little bit uh so as you guys can see here what i've done is i've decorated up the front yard here i kind of gave like a little dirt texture underneath and i put some flowers in throughout to kind of you know add some color uh to the front of the house um down along the side here uh you come up over here uh, we'll kind of show you guys uh, what I've done here. Same thing. I put a flower bed up over here. Uh, I put a flower bed over here with a couple bushes. Um, you know, so on and so forth. A uh, little bit of a flower bed up at the front here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Um, I did try to purchase this so I could kind of build in along here but yeah it just wouldn't let me so I couldn't uh, I want to kind of put like a little flower bed coming in around around this but uh, for some reason it just would not allow it uh, as you can see I've ran fences 
all throughout. I've spent a good couple of days on here. I've done some field work. I've done some uh, modifications, so on and so forth. Uh, I do not have any crops in the bin. All the crops I have, I have basically plowed under. Uh, it was just stuff I don't normally get into. So I have legit plowed them all under. Um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, oh, we'll show you guys the backyard here quick. We'll kind of uh, we'll go from there. Uh, oh, and take a glance as we walk by. <laughs> Just so you guys got to see that. Sorry, I had to. Um, I'm coming to the yard. And, of course, I've decorated up the yard also. You all got some bunch of flowers coming, or a nice little walkway coming down from the house into the yard itself. And then a little bit of light fixtures. A couple more uh, bigger ones up at the end here. And, uh, and then we got some flowers that are underneath the... Um, birch underneath the good old big old birch tree we got some flowers that I've kind of planted underneath uh, we got a little garden shed here it, you can't open it it's just decoration so and then of course we got the dog uh, Liberty uh, we better feed Liberty there we go not sure where she's at she seems to like to roam around here a little quite quite a ways I have noticed the dog does venture a little bit further so just so you guys are aware of that uh, Mac attack game. Hey Ryan, looking great. Thanks, Mac. Uh, welcome to the party, there, bud. I uh, hope you hope you enjoy it today. And uh, yeah, let's, let's give you a little tour here of uh, what I've done here in R R K Dairy. Um, it took me a couple of days to kind of, you know, I've been tweaking here and there, and uh, just trying to get everything, you know, set up looking good, right? Um, with the gate back up. Not that it's done anything. I mean, the dog likes to roam. Um, so anyways, uh, so yeah, you come over here. We got around a fence. Uh, and then a fence comes down. Where did I run that fence to? Yeah, right over to here. So the fence just comes and it's kind of basically ends right here. Because down to here is legit a swamp. So you do not want to go down down in there, but I got you know kind of fenced off along here, kind of a play area for the kids, little playhouse, uh, so on and so forth. Um, the charging station, uh, you'll see what that is for here in a little bit. I'll show you guys that here in a bit. Uh, the one thing I have noticed so far is yes, that we got these great looking. Um, you know, you can come in here, work on your equipment. The problem is, I have not found a work trigger yet. Uh, there is no work trigger on the on the farm itself, which sucks. Uh, you have to take everything down to the store. Um, so hopefully here soon, we at least get a place anywhere mod for uh, a work trigger. So that way a guy can pull in his equipment and work on it right here. It's so much easier. Uh, save you a lot of time, a lot of money. Um, yeah, so that's just, it's great looking shed, don't get me wrong, great looking shed, I absolutely love it, and you can go upstairs and everything here too, uh, where's the, uh, stairs to it, yeah, right here, so yeah, you can access, get down into the pit from here also, so you can do your oil changes and everything, uh, give me a second here, oh, come back up, and of course you can go upstairs also, up at a loft of this place, which is great. Uh, so yeah, I mean you got you know a chair here and everything, to kick back, have a relax if you wanted. But of course, dairy farm, you don't got that, got that opportunity. All right, I'll head back down. Okay, so I'm sure you guys here. Like so, yeah, I got my Iridium bins. Um, like I said, right now they are empty. I have absolutely nothing. I like this feature. You can come up and it tells you exactly what's in them. Uh, so the silo is empty. Because uh, I have not put anything into them yet. Uh, I do got the augers over here. And once harvest time comes, we will be using these uh, 
these augers, we have the big yellow one here, we'll have it up to the top, and then of course the little, little uh, red one will eventually, where oh it's over here, uh, which we will be using also for when we haul stuff into market. Uh, as you can see here too guys, I have ran the fence along the roadway here, kind of give it, you know, just that little more of a no more country feel. I did like the original location minus the gas station right across the road, but I like the barn. Uh, so uh, you guys will see here in a few minutes. I will show you guys what I have done inside the barn. Um, that we guys know that I am utilizing it. Uh, of course, I got the uh, Wilson uh, pay setter trader here. Uh, we'll be using this for out in the field, uh, you know, getting our crops off, so on and so forth. And come over here. We got the old Mac. Uh, I have license plate on this one. It's big trucks. Don't ask me why. I just put it that way. Uh, so, yeah, we got the old Mac truck. And we got this one hooked up to a set of Super Bs. Uh, flat bottom Super Bs. Or the Super Bs. And just so you guys are wondering, um, if you guys look when it says owned and owned by R&K Dairy Farm, uh, just so you guys who do, uh, don't know, I was wondering how to do this here the other day, and I have figured out how to do it. What you do is you go into multiplayer, and you go to create a farm, right, and you change the farm name, because it'll come up as my farm on the farm name. You save that. And that pops up whatever name you decide they decide it to be. It pops up and back up. This is now back on, on single player. Uh, so yeah, it comes back up on single player, and that's the name that'll pop up. So when you walk up to any piece of your equipment or anything on the farm, uh, basically, well that's what it doesn't. The bins don't say it. But you walk up to any piece of equipment, as you can see, it says by uh, Load King. Uh, Super B pull trailer owned by RK Dairy Farm. Uh, and they come over to here. You know, it says the uh, Mack Truck Superliner 6x4 owned by RK Dairy. Uh, so, there you guys go. Uh, so, yeah, just remember that. You guys go into the uh, into the multi uh, multiplayer and. Uh, change the name of your farm on multiplayer because it'll say my farm you do a save of that and you guys come back into single player the name will still be there <clears throat> okay that's so we got our two fertilizer bins uh, here also so we got meridian uh, the, like I said these are fertilizer these two I'm using for seed and these, this is great uh, you come up to here uh, if you click here uh, you, like you can go seeds or mineral feed and I'll tell you with that after uh, but the uh, seeds here you guys just click on it click the X button I can't already because mine's full but you click on it you buy it uh, same with these ones too it's the same thing walk up to the wrench click on your uh, L3 button buy solid fertilizer and you're you're gold you're set good to go ready to rock and roll uh, we got another Mack truck here. Uh, we got this one hooked up onto our bale wagon or bale trailer slash hauling trailer uh, with the old Demco here. Uh, we do hauling bales with this one here and also, yeah, hauling bales and what else? Yeah, bale hauling and yeah, equipment, so on and so forth, uh, supplies. Uh, you name it. Oh, we got a Bambi out here. Oh, two of them. So yeah, then we got, of course, we got a license plate here. Nothing fancy on the trucks. It's just regular uh, license plate on this one. <coughs> now, I know you guys are looking, why the heck has he got a planner? Well, I got to test the theory first before I go hardcore. Uh, so I look, I, I, I'm going to try to do barley silage again, if I can. But if not, then I'm going to have to do corn. But if barley works, this thing goes bye bye. The sad thing is, this is the biggest feeder we got, or planter. I wish this was both. 
because I was I'd keep that because the planter or cedar I got maybe yeah, I do not like. Uh, which you guys will see that here very shortly. Uh, right here we've got the uh, John Deere 9R, uh, 9620 R. Uh, this is the main workhorse on the dairy farm. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of field, like you guys can see on it already, it has been used. Uh, it's already got uh, 2.2 hours on it. So it has been working. Uh, then this is the plow that I'm using, plow slash cultivator slash um, fertilizer. It's the Bendinar um, FB3000, uh, TO6000, PT6000. Uh, so this does a little bit of everything. It fertilizes uh, and it also cultivates and it plows. It's, more, it's under, uh, you guys go here. Um, just so you guys do know, if you do not want to be using one of these plows, right, because these plows are brutal. I do have one, uh, as you guys can see, uh, where is it, yeah, see I do own one, but I didn't purchase for that price, I actually got it used. Um, but yeah, that Bennar, just if you guys don't remember, uh, hang on here, where is it here now, Still learning the menus here a little bit compared to 19. It's a lot different. Uh, it's easier in a sense, but it can also be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I'm sure it'll, uh, we will get to it here. Like once you know we progress with the game, so on and so forth, uh, we'll think that 19 was brutal and this one's so much better. Uh, where is okay, there's cultivators. Uh, where we second here? Uh, was it? Un no, was it that? Subsweaters. There you go. So it's under subsweaters, and it's this one right here, guys. Uh, if you guys want to use something a little bit bigger, uh, it's not the biggest. You only got about a six meter spread compared to like an eight. Uh, but it does do it does do pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's nice to it fertilizes also while you're doing it too. So, which that really does help out. So, and then we've got the uh, Ross Hill, uh the uh, cultivator. <clears throat> so that's it there. And of course, we got lights set up around so we can see. Uh, I have to use the fuel trailer here, which I got back down over to here right now. This one is full. Um, then we got the Meridian fuel tank. And once again, same thing, come up to here, press X, and it all maxi gets refilled. Comes out of your bank account. So when you come to here, it doesn't charge you. Uh, what charges you is when you pay for it, basically it's like the fuel truck comes in, fills it up. And, uh, yeah, so the far when the fuel's on the farm, you're good to go. When it's empty, you got to come in back, order your diesel, boom, bang, to fill it up, and you're good to go for a bit again. And then your trigger will be like right here to fill, start filling. Uh, inside the barn, as you guys can see, I've do got a fair amount of material here in the barn already. I got a whole bunch of lime. Uh, I've got here. This is some. This is something new. I never seen this even on uh, FS19. Uh, it's uh, fertilizer or uh, silage inhibitor uh, or silage uh, additive. So I'm not too sure exactly what it does. I will find out. I will. I'm going to play it a little bit. See what it does. Uh, and then of course we got another pallet of it right there. And then we got the uh, mineral feed. And we got chicken feed. And the course, these are this is all lime over here. Uh, we got a skid steer, forklift. Uh, forklift comes in handy in here, put pallets and that up, so on and so forth. Just so you guys are aware, I don't know if you guys noticed, we'll go like this 748 slots. And look at what you guys have already seen on my farm. Uh, we are doing absolutely amazing on slots here yet guys absolutely amazing uh, So anyways Oh, 
Yeah, it's like kind of. I think I already showed you guys that. Um, we'll come down over here, and now we get down into the main area of the of the dairy farm area. Uh, here we got our water tank with the Zader uh, 25k uh, tractor. Uh, this this oh, and here you go, guys. Look like an actual dairy farm. We got coveralls on, rubber boots. We got two con. It's about late October, so it's getting a little chilly. So we got the two con. Keep the head warm. But uh, you listen to this. This thing just sounds out and superb. Yeah. Uh, tractor's not used for much. It's. Uh, yeah, it, a little underpowered, but it's good for hauling water around the yard, so on and so forth. Um, so that's about all it's really used for. Uh, so, and here we got mineral feed in this one. Now, I was telling you guys about the mineral feed, as you guys can see, uh, what it's actually used for, and this is the thing here right now. Uh, when I first got the cows here, like there's only 71 cows right now in this in this dairy barn that are milkers. Uh, the way this stuff works is you actually add this in with your in with your mix when you're doing your mix wagon. Uh, now the mix wagons, what I've noticed, actually do work now here on FS22. Uh, which means you actually have to turn on your mixer because if you just throw your stuff in there it's legit going to do nothing you're not going to it's not going to mix properly it's not you're just going to get basically crap for your cows uh, so you actually have to turn on your mixer wagons now and actually mix your feed uh, so what it is uh, just so you guys know now, uh, so yeah, uh, we got the 7810. This is probably right now the highest hour tracker on the dairy farm. Uh, it's got 10.9 hours already on this one. Uh, just so you guys know, that's the uh, main chore tractor slash middle hane, so on and so forth. Uh, this here is the second workhorse on the dairy. Uh, I will tell you guys the mix here. I'm just showing the rest of this here quick. Uh, this one has 16 or 6.5 hours on it. Uh, I just finished up with, up in the field with this one. So she is a little bit dirty. Uh, I was pulling the, this is my used plow I picked up. Uh, and then here we got our rake, our manure spreader, which right now is basically going to sit here until... Giants comes up with uh, a fix because if you guys can see I got straw in the barn now there is straw in here in the barn uh, so it does not look like any of the straw is being used maybe slowly but surely that I know. Uh, if it is, it's very slow. We'll find out in a second. Then a little, yeah, no, still nothing. Uh, slurry does, but it does not uh, spawn manure, uh, which is too bad. Uh, I mean, that would be, you know, uh, here's the ladies. Uh, but yeah, I mean, information you can get from the cow is you come up, uh, see 14, mu 14 months, uh, count 39, health 100%, reproduction is at zero right now. Uh, this one here is 32, 20 months, but it gives you all the information on all your cows, which is absolutely, oh, here you go. See, I got some in here that aren't, uh, aren't milking, so reproduction is at 10%, so these are the ones that are that are my milkers as you guys can see here uh, this one here no nope, that lady's not uh, 
Oh, uh, give me a second here. Uh, so yeah, as you guys can see, uh, I got a warning that you guys just seen that. So I'll try to get through this here so I don't lose you guys. I don't think it's gone through yet, so it'll be okay. Uh, slurry tank, which I just haul it over from the dairy barn over to here. I'll have to do a thing here, clean up the calf shed, so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, and then over here we got the mower, uh, so that's for silage, we got the tether, which is the same thing in 19 basically, you go out, you cut your hay, walk and take your tether out, flip it over and you got hay. You don't want to wait drying, prop, uh, drying or nothing else, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe that's something they might be able to fix a little bit to kind of wait, you have to let it dry. Uh, got the uh, baler, little rock picker. Uh, something you guys don't have in 19. This is something you uh, something you got to do. And now I find the only time that rocks appear in your field is after you plow. Uh, it's the only time rocks. So far, I've noticed uh, I got another field off to go out and pick rocks in. Uh, right here we got the uh, John Deere uh, T uh, 560i combine. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Uh, the draper we have on it is not overly the biggest, but it's not overly the smallest either. And then, of course, we got our slurry spreader. Uh, so it does have stuff in it, because I was trying something with it, and it didn't work. So if you guys do, do notice, it does have slurry in it. Um, and then, of course, we got a little baler here also. Uh, we're going to I'm going to do a few extra bales. I'm going to test the test the bailing count out so on and so forth and see what our max is and then over there you see we got our bunker silos which are empty and then over here we have a calf barn uh, this is all calves in here and they got two calf pastures also so yeah here's the calves in here so they're happy uh, happy little happy little calves everything's good there and here's the hay and straw area. Uh, what I have noticed, excuse me, sorry guys, is I brought this hay here because this stuff, this hay here is what I purchased. Uh, but it does not rot. And it's outside. And it does not rot. So I don't think we actually need to have our hay under, uh, under wraps. We should be okay. Uh, but I'm going to just test it a little bit, kind of see for you guys, so you guys do know. So just keep in mind, I'll let you guys know if I notice anything. But I haven't noticed anything yet, and I've had rain and so on and so forth, and nothing yet. Uh, so yeah, just so you guys know, I don't need to do a mix right at the present time. Uh, so yeah, when you guys do do your mix for your, for your cows. You fire up your tractor, right? Now, things are a lot different on here compared to what they are in 19. Uh, as you guys can see, when you turn on the mixer wagon, normally that would be like turning automatically, right? Oh, didn't want to do that. I don't want to turn it off. Okay. So it's hooked up, right? It's not turning. 19 this would have been would have been turning even though the tractor is not turned on This would be turning just slightly. Well, this one doesn't So you have to fire up your tractor All right After you will do here guys is I will do a quick mix for you guys Just so you guys kind of at, at least see what I'm talking about. I'll turn on My help menu to help you guys out I don't need it now already. I've already figured out the uh, gist of controls. But uh, I will just show you guys so you guys are aware of this. Uh, Alright. So we're going to go grab our tractor. And I'll just do a mix, a small mix here for you guys so you guys see. 
I can always get the cows later. It's not a big deal. Oh. Okay. So now you take your basically this is my chore tractor, right? And yes, I'm using a set of bale forks. I've used bale forks from freaking ages. Absolutely hate the damn thing. Okay. So now, just so you guys know, what I'm going to do, as I said, 19, you didn't have to do this. Rev up that tractor. Get those RPMs up. See, now, you hop up here, now she's turning. I'll have to show you. Oop. Oop, come on. Nothing. Alright. So just so you guys know. Alright, now she's mixed. now she she's idling away. Come over here. Now this is for the round bales uh, that I am doing it for. If you guys are using the square bales, it's completely different because they are a bigger bale. They're an eight thousand liter bale, this is a twenty five hundred liter bale. So guys just keep that in mind. Uh, I do believe that the next ratio for the 8,000 is 2A, 2 silage, and then 5.2 liters worth of, uh, uh, uh mineral feed. Okay, so we're going to put the hay in. One bale in. Alright, so as you guys can see, shoot it up. Right, like it's supposed to. Now this aspect has not changed very much from 19. It's pretty much about the same. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much about the same from what 19 was in this aspect. But this is where it gets a little bit, a little bit differently. Like I said, you got to turn on that mixer wagon. Okay, so now, I'll try to get up a little higher here so you guys can kind of see here. Get the bale in there. Oops, there we go. All right. So now, we hop into here. Now you guys can see here, we're up 100% which is okay, all right? Now, come hop into your tractor. And grab a bale of straw. Now these are a little bit bigger. These are 5,000 liters. But that ain't gonna hurt nothing. Because we are going to counteract it. Alright, now, you guys can see here, now it says forage, okay, look here, our silage is still up in the red just a little bit, forming our silage for our hay, which is fine, alright, our hay is still within the green, 
So we're doing good. Some gold on this side. Okay, so now I'll come over here. Come over here and we'll grab the silage, which is 3,500 liters. Oops. One. Just so you guys do know, this is all purchased already. I did not make these silage sales. I purchased all this. Minus those two rows of hay. I did that. It was uh, 79 bales. Let me put this in. Oops, stop. There you go. It mixes it all in. Now, if you come up to it, you have GMR. But we're not full yet. As you can see, we still have a little bit of room yet. What we do is let's idle this down a little bit. And we come up over here. Now this aspect, this is more for guys that want, like, you could see this right to your cows right now, and it would be absolutely perfect. It would not do anything, just so you guys know. Uh, it would not hurt them if you guys just fed them directly this CMR mix. But this adds to a little more of that, guys, like myself, we like to do a little more RP, a little more realistic. So we're going to add a little bit of feed. What we're going to do, I brought a little bit too much in, so we're just going to rub it up a little bit. 55.3. I didn't quite click quick enough. The one hand falling asleep. So it's a little, little high. But we should be should be okay. Uh, it is forage. But it won't take long for it to uh, mix down. So what we can do We'll just go in. We got a little more mineral than we wanted. That's not going to hurt. But it's 5.3 liters is what you fill. You know, just even to give a quick little tap and stop it again. You're good to go. Yeah, see, I'm not going to take much in here. No spare capacity for hay. Yeah, I know that. My hay's already full. I kind of screwed that up. But that's okay. But yeah, no, it's a 5.3 liters. I didn't quite get clicked quick enough. So it's the two hay, one straw, two silage, and then uh, 5.3 liters of the mineral feed. I got a little too much mineral in there, and I can't. Try something here. We're gonna try something. We do have enough room. I hope we'll do it or not. This is an experiment. I 
I don't normally mess up like that, but uh, I had it perfect there. And then it, you know, my hands fall asleep and I can't feel, feel the controller. How to basically make do with what we got on that one. Which is whatever. Uh, I'll tend to feed something like that the more something that's not the the uh, the milkers. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that is uh basically my first opinion on uh, FS22 uh, the rundown of the dairy um, like I said just so you guys also know like I said it is too hay and trust me on this guys it's just like like I said my hands falling asleep and I did get a chance to uh, hit the button quick enough uh, couldn't feel the trigger uh, so yeah it is a, it is the two hay one straw, two silage, and 5.3 liters, or a little bit less, of the uh, mineral feed uh, to mix in for your uh, TMR. And you'll get the perfect uh, mix for your cows. Uh, and then it, here, like I said, we got our... Uh, this is basically just our younger pens. Uh, what I might do eventually is you know, move a couple of steers into these also. And uh, I'm not, you know, we're actually going to have steers, but there is no male and females, I've noticed. As far as I know, they're, huh. sorry guys, they're all uh, females, but just for the RP aspect, uh, it's, it's nice that they're, you know, their colors changed a little bit, uh, so on and so forth. Oh! And just so you guys do know, I did notice someone uh, post this on another page. Uh, I'm going to show you guys something here. Uh, he was asking about uh, dairy cows. He was trying to get his cows to produce milk. Okay, right now the main dairy cows on 22 are your brown Swiss. Okay, you got your brown Swiss and your Holsteins. All right, these are your dairy cows. All right, these two breeds are your dairy. All right, are the brown Swiss and dairy or and Holstein. All right, uh, the Angus. Yes, it says it produces milk, but it's more milk just for the calves. I do believe. Um, these two breeds right here your Angus and your uh, limousine these are beef cattle if you read on the prescription on the uh, subscription on it here it says this type is mainly used for breeding breeding only uh, so these are the types of cows that you guys would use if you guys wanted to be a cattle rancher a ca running cows these are the type of cows you guys would use for those that aspect to run cows if you want to do dairy it's the brown swiss and the holsteins <laughs> excuse me sorry guys so yes yeah, that's just so you guys know brown swiss holstein milkers to, to sell for milk angus and limousine yes they will breed you can increase your herd Yes, but they're only used for breeding, per, mostly for breeding. That's it, and then you turn around once they get a certain, certain size or whatever, sell a bunch off and just keep bringing more, increasing your herd. That's cattle ranching. Dairy is a little bit different. Uh, dairy, we basically will sell a few off or whatever, so 
every so often to increase the herd, right? Or get a, you know get to wean the old ones out, bring the you know newer ones in, or producing goods, so on and so forth. Sell the steers because dairy farmers don't really use steers. It's mostly a lot of AI. Uh, I think it's all incorporated in with this. I'm not 100% sure, but most likely. Um, so yeah, it's just. So yeah, just so you guys know, milkers, Ang Angus and limousines, breeding for basically selling for meat purposes. Uh, just so you guys are aware of that. Uh, and then yeah, the uh, chicken coop. I haven't really show that to you guys here. Uh, as you can see, we got a couple uh, egg eggs there. And it is nice how the chickens, if you look at them, they all kind of changed the aspect. I mean, they got a little more realism to them. Uh, they kind of, you know, as you can just see, the one there came at me. Uh, this one here is, you know, kicking back, having a snooze. Um, there's a rooster. So, see? They have added a little more realism to them, which is absolutely amazing. They, we do need a little, few little touch-ups with them. Uh, so, but other than that, I mean, I think so far it's not bad. It does have, it does have its glitches. It does have its, you know, come in here. You got a couple more in here. Not that that does anything. I've seen y'all want to roam around out here. Uh, and they come in here. This one has a nice little feature. You know, you can... Hot summer day. You know, open her up. You know, not that it's that hot, but... Just so you guys know... So yeah, that is uh, the new uh, R and K dairy. Um, I'll give you guys a rundown. We're uh, back over here. I'll just show you guys here. I'm not gonna go through all my fields what I got, but I'll at least show you guys a little bit here what I have done. Uh, this is not my property. That's uh, the neighbors. Uh, what I have done and I've never been able to do on here before which I think is absolutely kind of cool you see this fence see this fence right here well that fence runs down all along that roadway up over just over by the tracks that are over there by the trees and then comes back down <sighs> yeah it comes back down and it uh, basically just uh, goes back down right over to here Yeah, right to here. You know, we got our gate here. Uh, this is actually would be the neighbor's uh, property, but what I did is I've just kind of closed it off. You know, that way he does. You know, can't get like into my field. And then of course I got this fence here that runs all along. Yes, I got a huge spotlight set up around the farm. This way it lights the farm up so I can see what the heck I'm doing at night or early in the morning or so on and so forth. She's lit up like Fort Knox. Um, so yeah, I got the farm, got this all set up along here and little little opening here. You can get equipment in and out easily. 
And then, of course, I got another one over here, fenced in behind here to kind of block away from the road to give us, you know, that, basically that seclusion of, uh, you know, having a, having a property, right? Like having, you know, um, it's not very cool having a, a road, road right here by a bridge, but it is what it is. Uh, and then of course the fence comes down and I basically just kind of ended it right here at your little little walk path that comes back over here uh, to the main yard so uh, that is our NK Dairy uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour of RK Dairy and a little bit of explanation there on you know for the for the team where I know I kinda messed it up a little bit there but like I said the hand fall asleep and I couldn't trigger quick enough because I couldn't feel my fingers. Uh but yeah it is one it is like I said it is the two hay one straw two silage at five point three liters. Even if it's a little bit less it ain't gonna hurt. It's already TMR as you guys can see but that as you can see it will throw it out also if you guys do put too much in there. So, uh, so yeah, if there's anyone new is watching this video too, guys, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you ring the little bell. And uh, I will definitely get some more out to you guys here. And uh, we'll be here on FS22. Uh, we're working on this one, on probably on Elms Creek here for a little bit until uh, a really good American uh, map comes out. Um, I'm hoping a really good one with a really good dairy barn. That I really like. I don't like these dairy barns. The um, standard dairy barns come with them. They're kind of kind of small, kind of puny. Um, but it is what it is. I'm working with it. Uh, but you guys can see everything I have done already, and I'm only at 748 slots. So I mean, it's just absolutely unreal on how many uh, slots a guy has saved. In just that little bit um, compared to what we were doing in, in 19 uh, so I do not know what the bail count is yet um, so if anyone has done a tremendous amount of bails here so far on uh, 19 please let me know guys uh, tell me what the uh, what the bail count is uh, that that way I do know Oh, hey, Red, how's it going, buddy? Sorry, I missed you there. I was busy blabbing away. Uh, yeah, so a like, new dairy farm set up here. Uh, might have already left. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's like... Uh, so, yeah, if anyone has done a lot of a lot of bales yet here for uh, or PS4... Uh, might be a little different for PS5s and that, and the, uh, the new Xboxes, I'm not too sure. I know their slots are a little bit higher than ours on how much they can place and so on and so forth. Uh, but even with the PS4s, I've noticed a huge change on how much we can actually do and the, uh, the detail that we can put in. Uh, I mean, this now would be a great... I, I still have enough... To set up for an RP, uh, a guy could come in and do an RP with on the map, uh, start up his own farm, so on and so forth. Uh, or even if a guy wants to do a dealership, you know, and you can get two, three, four, five guys on the map and just play it. A uh, good RP. I mean, I'm sure we could really get some really great series going, uh, so on and so forth. Now, and even with the tremendous amount of detail that you can put on a map I mean it's absolutely outrageous like I'm even the tractors alone uh, don't take a whole heck of a lot of slots I mean it might say like like look at this I mean I think the highest right there is maybe the JCB 37 slots but even your 9 are even your like 13 for John Deere 15 for John Deere that JCB is probably the highest one I've seen so far. 
Like, I mean, that, like, look at that. 10 slots. 11 slots. 13. 13 slots. One slot. But that's because I already have one. 13. 14. 11 slots. 14 slots. 11 slots for the uh, versatile. I mean, that is absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the only downside is, the only reason why I was going to go with the versatile, but the only downside is it doesn't have a three-point hitch. So that's why I took uh, the 9R over the versatile. Um, yeah. <sighs> that's why I took the 9R over the versatile because I could put the three point on it. That's the only reason uh, because of that. Uh, where is it here now? Uh, there we go. Yeah, because of this uh, substrator, you need the three point in order to hook up to it. Um, there is no mod yet for for that aspect. I don't think I haven't seen a three point hitch anywhere. Uh, Yeah, no, see, that's just a weight. Uh, so, yeah, there's no three-point hitch or anywhere yet that we can use um, for that. So, Giants, Standard. Huh, okay. Uh, sorry, just looking here. Uh... Yeah, we got no Otherwise I probably would have used the uh first style so it's a little different, but like I said we don't have the uh three point hitch mod yet. Uh we don't have the uh buck or the blade adapter that was on 19 for this tractor yet so I gotta figure out a way how to push silage come next uh, fall which it is or next summer which it is what it is it's not a big deal I'm not gonna lose sleep over it I will figure out a way I did it for how long in 15 and so forth without it same with 19 or not 19 I mean uh, 17 uh, I do believe for oh, that snow equipment. Oh. Hmm. Uh, we got for levelers. Well, there is. I do got a couple options. Uh, if I have to, I'll just hook the blade up to the old uh, 4755 and just push it to 47. Not a big deal. Uh, so anyway guys, like I said, I'm going to end today's video here today guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the tour here of uh, what I've done on for the RK Dairy. And uh, enjoying the setup. Uh, I'm going to be playing this one until, like I said, until a decent mod comes out. Or a decent map mod with hopefully, a, hopefully, hopefully American uh, Dairy Barn with a milking parlor. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome so if there is any modders out there that watch this guys an american dairy barn with a with a milking parlor uh we got lots that come out for a lot of the european maps uh we have not yet seen one for an american map it would be an absolute awesome thing to see to come on uh onto here now we've got so much more potential so much more that we can actually do now with the fs22 so if anyone is here that does do any modding, uh, guys, an American style dairy bar with a, with a milking parlor, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, it would make uh, everything a lot more 
like we got the, the, the detail we can do now it's absolutely awesome so like i said i'll catch you guys later this is finished darren sign off for now